Hello everyone and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are building a bookstore and wine bar. This build has been on my things to build list for a while now and since we just had the release of the new book nook kit, I figured that this was the absolute perfect time to build this venue. I didn't actually do a review on this kit this time, so I'll talk a little bit about my thoughts and feelings about the book nook kit in a little bit but I figured first I should give you a little bit of background and details to this build. Currently, we are here in Henford on Bagley. We will be switching worlds soon. So I basically got the exterior done in Henford on Bagley, realized that it stuck out like a sore thumb <laughs> and moved it to Brightchester. And Brightchester is seriously like the perfect place. It looks so good. And I actually even replaced the bar in Brightchester with this one. So the, this lot can either operate as a bar or a retail lot. So I love that. I love building things that you can use for more than one purpose. I will have this up on the gallery as a bar and I actually think it functions as the bar like the best. It's really nice. It fills out with a decent amount of people and I, I don't know. It's just, I really like it as a bar. I'd highly recommend it keeping it that way, but if you want to operate a bookstore, it's also set up as a bookstore. So right now you come into the first floor or the ground floor and you have the bar area. So that's on the left-hand side and all the way on the right-hand side, there is a little book nook, of course. <laughs> I figured, you know, some of your Sims might want to escape some of the noise of the bar, although I feel like this kind of place it would be quieter because people are coming here to read and maybe just to socialize a little bit, but mostly to read and just have a glass of wine. And so we have that little nook area that's over on the right hand side. So there's some speakers in there because for some reason I just picture coming here and there's jazz music playing just super cozy and relaxing. <laughs> on this floor, we also have some bathrooms. And then when you head up to the second floor, it is just completely filled with books. So I mean, down here, there's plenty of books too. Upstairs, there is like an insane amount of books and that's where the retail counter is. So if you want to operate this as a bookstore, that's where your cashier will be. I do now have to talk about what I'm working on here. When I saw that you could have stackable books with this kit, I knew right away, I'm like, I really hope this works with Tool because I have an idea. I don't know if any of you seen have seen this online or on like Pinterest. In some of these like really cool bookstores, they have archways made out of books. And I'm like, I am doing that here. <laughs> and okay, it worked. I play tested it. You can walk, like Sims can walk through it. So it's functional. But the issue, so this is disappointing. So I have no idea what, if you go to download this on the gallery, part of the books might be missing. Also what I discovered is these new modular shelf pieces also disappear. So we had modular pieces that came with Dream Home Decorator and the same thing happened. And I don't even know that there's any fix for it. If any of you know a fix for this, I think it's just a glitch and a bug. Let me know though, because when I went back into this lot later after I saved and came back, like a bunch of the bookshelves on the ground floor were gone, which is incredibly annoying. So I'm just letting you know, if you download this, you'll probably have to put in the bookshelves all over again. And the archways are probably also gonna be gone and I have no idea why. I've like tried so many different things and they've disappeared. I might do a YouTube short on how to do that. So if you want to actually like mimic that and redo it in your game, then hopefully that tutorial will help. I don't know when I'm going to have time to do that though. <laughs> That's always the problem, but I will, if you guys are interested in that, I will do a tutorial on that. So you can also recreate that in some other builds in your game. All right. So the book nook kit, I was a bit nervous about this kit seeing that it had a lot of bookshelves and not really a ton of other items made me really nervous. And I have to say I'm a bit underwhelmed. And I think that's why, because a majority of the items were bookshelves. <laughs> the nice thing is, like I said, they're modular bookshelves, which is awesome. I feel like this should have came with Dream Home Decorator, but obviously it didn't. 
but I do actually think that that's going to be a very useful tool. I, I like that and being able to create your own kind of like layouts with the bookshelves are really cool. They attach to the walls though, so that's the other issue. You can't just like build them out in the floor unless you use a half wall like you saw me using on the ground floor. So that's like kind of your workaround or I think you could use tool and you can kind of use like the up and down keys to the zero and nine key to kind of like bring it up in the middle of the floor I think that would work it's just gonna be kind of a pain so that's the disappointing part I do really like the items in this kit the decor items are super cute I love 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 the, the decor items like there's a basket with books and a plant in it there's another basket that you can actually put things in and then there's like a little candle and a vase with a plant which I really like but that's what I realized that it didn't seem like there was a lot of items like decor items that came with this kit and I really feel like there should have been more more book thing themed items and so that was a little bit disappointing and then the one other thing that I really wish they would have done so as you see I'm putting in yeah these modular bookshelves they are great for contemporary and modern builds and that's about it so what i would have really liked to have seen is if they would have done the same swatches like the same shelves and then just had three versions so currently we have a tall a medium and a short if they would have done just those three in a piece that had like just some like crown molding at the top then we could place that item at the top of like wherever your bookshelf ends. And then you could have used this in traditional builds. So I really wish they would have done something like that. So that was disappointing because I really like building older style and traditional homes. So yeah, I don't know how often I'll use these bookshelves in those homes. And that's why that's a little sad. The couches, <laughs> I am torn on the couches. so. I'm not a huge fan of the actual style of the couches. Eh. There's some really good custom content out there where the couches are just amazing and maybe I'm spoiled. <laughs> but the good thing about the couches is they come in a huge variety of neutral colors, which I think we are severely lacking in this game. I don't know why everything has to be like super crazy colors. Like I'm fine with that, but I really like having neutral colors. So we actually have neutral colors like with, with all these couches, which is awesome. So I might end up using them just because they go with everything. We'll see. But yeah, they're, they're contemporary. So once again, those traditional builds, these aren't gonna look great. <laughs> I do really like the love seat. So the love seat is made to look like it's built in. So I put that in like between the bookshelves and the window and that looks so cool. I really like that. And then once again, those all come in just your basic neutral colors. So yeah, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> oh yes, also the lamps in this kit. I wouldn't have thought that I'm here, I'm gonna talk about the lamps. I love the lamps that came with this kit. <laughs> it's about books and I love the lamps. Like what is wrong with me? <laughs> so there's a floor lamp and a table lamp. We are also severely lacking floor lamps in this game and I don't know why and the ones that we have especially that came with base game are like so horrendously ugly <laughs> they're so bad and I always want to use floor lamps in my game and my builds and I find that I don't because then I go to the catalog to look at the lamps and I'm like ew <laughs> so I really 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 like these lamps and I almost feel like these were supposed to go with growing together and they didn't include them in that pack because the swatches go so perfectly so if you have that expansion the lamps in this kit go really nice with with those lamps <laughs> with the lamps they're just they're very contemporary and they're just those neutral colors and they actually look like something you would find in someone's house nowadays. And I think that's kind of the issue with some of the, some of the, like the lamps and couches in this game. It's like, who would actually have this in their house or who would have actually had this in their house like 50 years ago or a hundred years ago, or <laughs> they're just kind of like, 
that, I, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. If you love the couches and the lamps in this game, then maybe, you know what? I'm a little bit jealous of you because I wish I liked them more. <laughs> But guess what? We are already at the end of our build. So we just want to thank you so much for hanging out with us, everyone. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Don't forget to give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to hit that button. Don't be afraid. <laughs> we don't bite. And Flynn, he won't bite you. Don't worry. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone. We hope you have an amazing week and we will see you in our next video. Bye.